Yeah. I did the injection and I'm out. <laughs> I no. have a headache. Good Let for you. See. I bet you got the injection, that is. Yeah, a little reaction I have. Okay, we are now on live stream. Um, Anthony Marino, I will um, yep. turn the floor over to you. Thank you so much. Hi, everybody. Welcome. My name is Anthony Marino. Uh, I am the chair of the Youth Services Education Libraries Com uh, Committee. Uh, and this is a, uh, I'd like to bring to order a, a meeting, a joint meeting between that uh, committee and the Zoning and Land Use Committee. Uh, we're going to be, uh, a presentation is going to be given tonight uh, in regard to a new school uh, proposal at 8802 Fifth Avenue. And we have uh, tonight with us uh, Steve Gonzalez and Gail Mondaro, uh, who will be presenting. I believe, Steve, you're from the School Construction Authority, right? Yes, I am. Yes, I'm Community Affairs Project Support. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, I'm going to, you know, welcome everyone from those uh, from those committees. Welcome to everyone who's uh, streaming live on YouTube. Uh, and Steve, I will I will throw it to you uh, to uh, give us the details. Okay, first of all, I'd like to thank uh, Josephine and Anthony and the entire. Uh, Community Board 10 uh, joint committees tonight for giving uh, Gail and I the opportunity to discuss the commencement of the, what we call the formal review period for intent to purchase the property at 8802 Fifth Avenue. I'm gonna share the screen and I'm gonna uh, read the intent. Okay, here it is. Everybody can see it? Yes. Yes. Okay. so. Basically, this Ow. is a notice of filing for the New York City School Construction Authority. Uh, this is our, what we always do. We do a, a, a filing, we post it in the city record, and we also published it in the New York Post. And uh, pursuant to uh, 1731 of the New York City School Construction Authority Act, notice has been filed up for the proposed site selection of Block 6065, lots 28 and 29 and any other property in the immediate vicinity uh, which may be necessary for the proposed project located in the borough of Brooklyn for the construction of a new approximately 572 seat primary school facility in community school board district number 20. The proposed site contains approximately 31,650 square feet or approximately 0.72 acres of lot area. It is located on Fifth Avenue between 88th and 89th streets. The site is privately owned. Thank it you. contains a vacant formal bank building, which was, as we all know, is formerly known as the Santander Bank pro uh, uh, property. The paved parking and a vacant automotive establishment in the Bay Ridge section of Brooklyn. The site plan and supplemental materials summarizing the proposed action are available at the SCA at 3030 Thompson Avenue, Long Island City, New York, 11101, to the attention of Gail Mondaro. Any comments on the proposed actions are to be submitted to the New York City School Construction Authority at the above address or by email to sites at nycsca.org and will be accepted until May 16th, 2021. For the record, it was, public, it was published uh, last Thursday, April 1st, in the New York Post, the five borough edition and city record. I'll just bring up this, the map, the site plan. As you can see, there are two lots, lot 39, which is located on 89th Street. Lot 28 is located on the corner of 89th and Fifth Avenue. Just to let you know that lot 39 is next to what the, the Department of Education owns the building there. I believe it's one in 43. In fact, the uh, District 20, the so offices are situated in that building. And on Fifth Avenue, I believe, I don't, I'm not sure if it's across from the post office or post office is a block away, but it's in very close proximity. So that's all I have in terms of the presentation. Gail, do you have anything to add? No, I'm just here. If anybody has any questions, happy to address that, which we can address for you. So I will say it is right across the street from the, the post office, the Santander. Right and the, okay. yeah. mm -hmm. right. I sure. thought yeah, it was right there. Do we have any photos of the site? Do you have a picture to show us which site and how it looks now to, to locate the, the place? Not, I apologize, but we do not have photographs of the current conditions of the site. 
All right, if you give me a minute, I could snap a picture and, and upload it. So give me one second. It says primary school. It's going to be up to what grade? Up to fifth grade. Fifth? fifth? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. And will um, it be have a UPK class as well, or it will start kindergarten? We have not designed the school yet, but our current program does include UPK till fifth grade for a primary school. Gotcha. Okay, thank you. Does it not have capacity to go up to uh, the eighth grade or like uh, 104? Our current programs are not generally PSISs anymore. They were under prior administrations. Um, and we are already constructing, and I believe it's in our alternative site analysis, a, a new middle school on the Nathan site. I should say the former Nathan site, I apologize. Give me your place. Just one more piece. Did you get it, uh, Joss? Oh, she disappeared. Did she go to? Oh, wait, uh, yeah, she went over to upload. Oh, I, was, I, was, I was trying to, to email. Do you have it, um, Anthony? Let me. Um, I mean, I have I have it up. If you want to share my screen, I guess I think I have it. I have okay, it so you could share the screen. Okay, let me see which screen because I have multiple screens here. I don't know. Which one <laughs> we'll see which one it shares. But all right, hold on one second. I have you, it. Though. Did you do Google Earth on it? That's what I was trying. Yeah, to yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, share screen. Oh, I cannot. Oh, I can't share the screen, Steve, while you're sharing the screen. You have to remove this first. So oh, there we go. And do you guys see that? Yes. Yep. Yes. OK, so that's yes. Right. So I'll move down. So that's the parking lot. Yes, that's the parking lot. Mm -hmm. Right. Currently. It is there yeah. where the bank used to be, right? Yeah, it's the Santander. Yeah. Santander Bank. Mm -hmm. And then the Which post. Is that from building? Office. This was the, it was a Santander. I remember at one point this might have been like a, a, like a learning center or something. There was a lumber yard years ago, too. Yeah, there that was, was actually an a Many years ago was a uh, I don't, all right. I don't remember the lumber yard. I remember the mm -hmm. education center. Anthony, may I ask a question? Yes. Thank you. I, I want to ask a question of Steve. Um, how Please many do. more uh, grammar schools or elementary schools do you think are going to be required to satisfy the need in this district? Well, I know that there, we have at least uh, uh, several thousand seats that we still have to fill. So we are so we're looking at, you know, every possible you know, location that is feasible for us to build a, uh, a school site. So um, we still have thousands of seats that we still have to fill in District 20 under the capital plan. When, when you project for school construction, is it for the next 10 years or? Five years. The five year the capital plan is. And what, what happens if in 10 years these seats are not needed or 15 or 20 or 25? We have all this building stock of schools. Uh, Gail. Yeah. Yeah, if I might. So we are pretty well on track currently to satisfy all of the funded seat need in district. Uh, I, I can't hear Gail. Sorry, I, I'm saying that we are pretty well well along the path right now of satisfying this subdistrict seat need that's funded in the this current five year capital plan. As to what happens in the future, finding in sense, we continue to track. Although our plan is a five year plan, we do have. Mm -hmm. November and we yeah, don't. I'm sorry. This is so important to us, and I can't hear you. I'm so sorry. I, I don't know if I that's can. A, that's okay. To turn it louder or not. You uh, guys aren't talking. Maybe mute. There might be some background noise, some other. Yeah. Um... So it takes so long to build a school like that. Uh, it, yes, it does. We usually say on, on an estimation, it's about one year to design a school and two years to construct a school. Um, but we track and we, and we have amendments to our five-year capital plan every November and February, and we track enrollment trends to see where they're going. And, you know, we do see shifts from time to time um, based on 
uh, the development of the neighborhood. Like District 20 has a pretty well-developed community. There's not a lot of brand new construction going on, um, not a lot of housing development like we see maybe in the Bronx communities. So, you know, we, we monitor and we shift to where the needs are. So right now for this particular site, we're imagining that a primary school would be the most appropriate use of the resource. But should we find in the future that there's more of a need for a middle school, perhaps DOE would contemplate shifting programs. If there was ever a time where we had absolutely no need, academic need for the structure, then it would be feasible that we could in fact sell it. It would be unlikely, but it could happen. Thank you. Um, Steve, can you just clarify? I saw 28 and 39 are the-, are, are the Yes. Um, so this, this whole, the, the parking lot, plus all of Santander and the it's 39 former, that's yeah. all 39 and then I'm going to move down the block here is this the body shop here is this oh the is this 30 you're not taking this no, 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 I'm sorry maybe the part the, the I'm trying the parking, to think. that's all 28 right 28 yes, the parking is, lot's 28 the building the the buildings are 39 I'm sorry so bo both of this building yep. and this building correct okay is the parking then, lot going to be remaining um, as I said earlier, I apologize, but this is so early in our process. We have not designed a school yet, so I don't know. No way of knowing. No. And I you do don't know how high, how many floors or anything. All I can no, tell you. No, we do not. No, no, what I can I tell you is the following. Generally speaking, when we do a program for a primary school, we do not put little children higher than a fifth story as a general rule. Mm-hmm. Was this the um, this Kia building? Wasn't that the building that uh, New York Prep was looking at at one time? Yes. Yes. We cannot hear anything. Yeah. But Um, let's see, Barbara Germack, you had a question? Yes, um, you know, there's a, another school a block away, uh, yeah. two blocks away, there's another school. Um, yeah, down the block here. Yes, yes, yes I right know, here, right here. 104. Yes, we're so aware of congestion right with buses. Yes, that's the other school. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that's there's a school there too, yes, in the yeah, building. Right, mm -hmm. right, and on uh, 92nd or 91st, there's another school, and yeah. I noticed that school is being um, added on to. So I hope um, that you guys have pupils for all of these schools. And we generally do not buy. We do not generally spend city money if we don't think that we're going okay. to be fill up right, price. right, right. And then this building, Steve, here on my screen, that's already district. That's, 20. Yes, so that's, that's already the, right. That's the offices, right? For that's the offices. That's the district twenty uh, DOE building. Yes. So, so if the anything, offices are there, right. and uh, all the CEC's offices are there. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, if anything, the school would sort of become part of a cluster there. That's kind of so I, sense. Yeah. I would assume so. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Again, that that kind of we defer to our colleagues at DOE for programming. But SCA builds them, DOE fills them. So we right. can only address the concerns regarding oh, of sites and construction. We can't really address who's going to ultimately be in there, but I would imagine you're thinking along the lines of what DOE would land with. Yeah. So 264, that's also a K through five school, the one across the street. 264, I, yes. Yes, it is. I believe so, yes. We built that about seven, eight years ago. Okay. Um, Doris, you had a question? Buy it all out now. Doris, I think you're on mute. You know what, Anthony, you're maybe I'm mute. gonna stop the screen share just for a minute. Oh yeah, please do. <laughs> okay, I think I unmuted myself. Yes. Um, um, Josephine, what is um, Community Board 10's seat deficit for uh, for schools so i think that's a really important number for us to know yeah district 20 the number is a little over four thousand. and we're probably a good port most of that all of community board 10 is located within school district 20. right and um, and you know what from our district needs statement you know looking at all of the primary schools 
Um, we're all at a, over a hundred percent capacity. Our high school is, you know, is at more than 200% capacity. So, um, that includes, if I may interrupt the PS 104 too, they're over a hundred percent. Over yes. 100%. Oh yes. I mean, we have some schools that are, at, I think 176 is at, at close to 160%. Um, so our schools are very overcrowded and, you know, projections are um, from, you know, we're soon going to be looking at um, census data, um, but our, our district population continues to grow and um, our overcrowding is, is significant. I think we're, we're ranked number one in the city of New York. For most yeah, I believe you're correct. Uh, yeah. yeah. Josephine. Uh, Barbara, did you have a, uh, your hand raised? Did you need to? No, no, I, it's fine. Um, Stephanie? Oh, um, Stephanie? Stephanie? I know that the plan hasn't been developed yet for um, the, the building of the school, but um, looking at potentially an entrance on Fifth Avenue versus the side street, do you take into consideration traffic um, and congestion while building or while designing the plans, or is that something that you address after the fact? Absolutely. Uh, actually, we have already started our state environmental quality review. We run in tandem with our public review process. And by the time that we head to city council to present this site for their vote, we will have completed that. That considers noise, traffic, both pedestrian and vehicular, um, pollution, uh, archeological significance, historical significance, et cetera. So we do a thorough environmental and uh, noise, traffic, pollution, and other considerations before we design and that informs design. Agreed. Thank you. Uh, um, Marissa? Yeah, I, I guess I'm, I'm questioning the um, both primary schools so close together. So is this school being developed to, to kind of help the overflow happening in 104? Because um, I do know that's Again, that school. I say what I said before. SCA buys it and builds it. DOE fills it. So we can't opine as to how the program folks at the Department of Education will decide to program the building. Um, we will work in close proximity with them to satisfy whatever needs, whether they're going to have a D75 program or anything unique in the program. If mm -hmm. it will be overflow for an existing primary school or a brand new organization, that's for the Department of Education to decide. And I think it's far too early in the process. We're just starting our public review. I would imagine sometime in the fall, we'll get to city council, we hope. Um, sometime between September and December, design then start. We're, we're talking about three years from now before this school is anywhere near a reality. Okay. Um, Anne? Is there an effort to, other than build it, to reuse building stock that we already have. Existing parochial schools, for example. All the time, um, all the time. Okay, so there is an active effort to reuse existing buildings. And I, could, I, you, I, could we have any more information on that effort? The, the Diocese of Brooklyn is our largest landlord. For the, for the, we have a very, very respectful relationship with them. And we usually get advanced schools are going to be closing so that we are afforded an opportunity to pursue them if they happen to be located in areas where we have a funded seat need. I'm glad to hear that, Gail. And I, I would urge you personally as a board member to pursue that to the extent possible. Um, Barbara, did you have your hand up again? Or? Yes. Okay. <laughs> You know, across the street, a few months ago, we, we gave approval to the learning tree, which would be right across the, from the school. So the folks building this should be aware of this. Oh, well, that's a oh. review. So, of course, like that the whole purpose of why we are required under statute to come to you to go to the Community Education Council and also City Council and to the mayor is to make the public aware. It's the same reason why we post our notices in the paper so that it's available for all. It's also posted on our website, uh, www.nycsca.org. And I know that people in your community definitely saw it because I did get a few phone calls with some questions even before tonight. 
Yes, um, Gail, Community Board 10 does a vast public notice. Um, the district office, we, we sent out a very large every door direct mailing to um, a, a oh. large perimeter around the oh. school. So we did do um, expansive public notice as well as an email blast on our social media page. Um, we try to do as much as possible. We love that. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Josephine. You're welcome. Um, I think we had another question. Yeah. Lori, our chair is here, Lori Willis. <laughs> Hi, Hello. thanks, Joe. Um, you know, I know that at this early stage, there um, often are more uh, questions than answers. Um, but, you know, when we've done this before, um, people give, I find, you know, in the community give very valuable um, input on the site locations and maybe particular problems that may arise on those sites, I do understand the scarcity of land for the building of schools because of um, the size of the plots you need. One thing um, I think you know was alluded to is there are a lot of car dealerships um, in this area. And just as a district, we have a problem with their taking up parking, um, blocking you know, uh, sidewalks and streets and with a, a primary school, you know, there's often um, busing for the lower grades. And so that is, you know, just the congestion is something I know that you would be doing um, your impact study, but um, the car dealerships have been uh, a problem for a very long time and they're very close by and they do take up those, uh, the side streets off and even parking on the sidewalks. And that's something that should be considered. Absolutely, we do work, as, as I said earlier, we do do our state environmental quality review, which includes studies of all of those considerations. But in addition, we, we coordinate very, very well with our colleagues in DOT. And, and of course, we consider the community's comments. And we not only invite you, but encourage you to submit any and all comments to our website at uh, our email inbox at sites, S-I-T-E-S, -E at nycsca.org. Or I believe my contact information was on the notice of filing. You can certainly reach out to me personally. But we consider all of that. And all of those comments make their way into our package to city council before their vote. Thank you, Gal. Barbara, you have your hand up again? <laughs> Did you have a question? Barbara, you're on mute. No. Okay, maybe not. Um, let me see here, Anthony. There yep. Any more questions? There was, I don't know if we're doing stuff from the Q&A and all that. Um, so let's see. Oh, wait, Barbara, you unmuted. Did you want to ask a qu no. another question? Thank you, no. Oh, okay. Your hand was raised. Yeah. Okay. Anybody else have any other questions? Did you want to take public questions? Um, yeah, we can do some public. Yeah, let's do that. So I think we have John Jay here um, that is asking to all panelists, let's do that. Land use for a taxable business land use that will elevate the community from additional taxation um, to bed home uh, homeowners business, not school for maximum tax protection. Um, already too many schools plus street closures for daily arrival on school bus dismissal. More schools is less tax based to protect homeowners. This will be a traffic nightmare. School bus daily closures remains unacceptable. For the neighboring post office and surrounding businesses, kids always take over um, no matter what. Traffic and tax reimbursement studies um, were any conducted. And I think that he's asking also what is the design, but I think- um, Well, we- Gail, we, we, to, yeah. Preliminary. Okay. So, so it's too early for design yet, but I, you know, frequently, and I know Steve has done it many, many times, we do come back when we have something to share. Yes. And, you know, some massings and some schematics and things. There will be community engagement. Um, it, it's just too early in the process. First, we have to know that we have the support to proceed with the acquisition, and then we can go further. I mean, I can't imagine a, a bigger waste of taxpayer dollars if we designed a school before we got a vote that said we can actually buy this and build a school. So they, are they going to have parking garage or open space for parking? As a general rule, our design does not include parking garages. 
I don't know, however, because I haven't finished the environmental studies as to whether or not there will be requirements for parking. I, so I can't speak to that just yet. Um, Steve, it looks like there's a question. Is a uh, lot 43 involved in this at all or no, not that I'm aware of. I, I only have the two lots, 28 okay. and 39. Okay. Somebody had asked a question about that. No problem. Okay. Um, Dean Racina Dean. has a question. Another question. Are we looking for a motion on this? Yes. Um, we CB 10 typically does a motion um, and does a, a very extensive comment to the school construction authority reflecting um, board member comments, public comments. Um, we usually put that in form of a, of a letter to the school construction authority. Well, so if we're ready for a motion, I'd like to make the motion to accept the uh, proposed uh, site. Okay. Do we have a I'll second? second. Oh, is this okay, Doris, we have a second. Okay, now everyone, um, oh, so is it discussion? Discussion, anybody? We're, the, so the motion was to accept the, uh, the plan site. Okay. Okay. Seeing none, I now have the polling feature, which I will remind board members, this is for board members only. It's a great tool that we've used on Zoom. Um, for the um, purposes of record keeping. But so I asked board members to vote on the motion um, in favor, opposed, recusals or abstentions. Hey, Joe, I can't click on here. So we can't vote. Um, I think maybe you have to allow us the uh, open that up. Um, are we voting or not? We are, we are oh. going to vote in just a second. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, okay. we got it. There we go. Okay. Now we can vote. Mm -hmm. My apologies. Yes. Technology, I'm getting there. <laughs> you're, all, you're doing incredibly well. We're going to figure this all out just in time to go back to live meetings. Yes, yes. <sighs> you're doing fine, Josephine. Thank you. Thank yeah. you, Steve. Do we have a... Uh... Okay, so we have 13 members present. So everyone has voted. We have eight in favor, four opposed with one abstention. So I'm gonna end, so motion carries. Motion carries, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, everyone. We appreciate very much your support. Mm -hmm. Yes, we very much do so. So and you know, part, part of our letter, we would also, you know, going to be inviting you back when you um, are ready with I the was, design presentation. I was just about to say that, yes. <laughs> We love that part. Look forward to that. <laughs> you do, Anthony. <laughs> All right, um, guys. Thank so you. With that, Thank you yeah. very much. Good seeing everybody. Good seeing everybody. We have a motion to dis to end the meeting here. Do we have a? Do we have to do that? Yes, motion to adjourn. Yes, yeah, a motion to oh, adjourn. I can't make that motion. <laughs> <laughs> anybody? I see anybody? Lots of hands. Thank you, everybody. Yep, second. Take care, Steve. Okay. Take Thanks, care, guys. Dean. Bye, everybody. Bye. -bye.